Hi guys, in this video I will show you how you can create a C++ tutorial with Doctool. So first we create some content that is worth uh, documentation. Create a subdirectory and some C++ program. Do the include stuff using namespace thing. Create a main function. Output some hello world message. Save it compile it and run it so that's it and now we create a document that shows our students how they go there we first create a title hello world we describe what this is all about create a section source code and here we want to include the listing another section for showing them how to compile and how to execute it. So this goes into a shell box. So when Doctool translates this document, it actually actually will execute the statements. And so okay, here this is a shell box shell. Save it and. Then we generate the document, the HTML code. So back now we have in the folder sites and the subfolder demo, we have our hello.html. We start uh, Safari, make it a little bit bigger, full screen mode, and here we go. So title, hello world, description, section source code, listing with syntax highlighting. And you actually can Download the source code. And here we have the section compile and run. We have the compile statements and the output when you actually generate the HTML code. On the top right, we have a file browser. Here we go. Okay, not much to see, but we have a plain listing of the C program and the link to the documentation. At the bottom, you have a link to the source code of the doc file. And that's it. So back now we want to improve our documentation and tell our students what uh, all the statements are about. So for example, we want to document the include statement at the top. And we insert this comments with three slashes instead of only two. So this will be brief explanations about all the things like the namespace and what's uh, this main function about. And we want that doc, uh, doc tool will extract this uh, brief explanations and create something like a walkthrough tutorial. So we add a new section, um, something like comments about the source code, uh, underline it and import it with the brief comments extracted. So we add this brief option, compile it, go back to Safari, Safari, sorry. Reload, and here we go. So you see the source code has the new instructions and we have a new section with this brief explanations short listings, explanations, listings, and so on. So we have this walkthrough style of documentation. So that's nice. Annoying is that our listing in the first section now contains this brief comments and that's somehow bloating the source code. And that's not so nice. So what we will do is uh, we will not change the C++ code. We will change the doc code and we will strip it. So adding this stripped option will do the following reload. Remove all the brief comments, all these three dashes get removed. And that's it. So now we can play around, go back to the editor, change our source code. Let's add some German version of Hello World. Compile it with doc tool. Reload in Safari and here we go. New output generated. So you see 
each time you call doc tool, you actually compile the source code. So let's change it again. Doc tool it, reload in Safari. Here we go. Back, change the source code, doc tool it, go to Safari, reload. Here we go. Okay, have fun. Bye.